so I have a dual SIM Galaxy S25 and let me show you how to manage the dual SIM cards on this phone, okay? So if you go into settings, let me just go back to the main settings page. So if you go to settings, assuming you've already inserted two working SIM cards or maybe you've set up two working eSIMs or one physical SIM card and one eSIM, if you already have two SIM cards, this is the video that you'll be learning how to manage the dual SIM setup. So go to settings and then go to connections. Under connections, tap on SIM manager. Now here, personally, I have two eSIMs, okay? Like I said, you could have two physical SIM cards. You could have one physical and one eSIM. Doesn't really matter. What you need to understand is how the SIM cards have been labeled. So I have my eSIM 1 and my eSIM 2. So what you do, you come here to the preferred SIMs. So you can choose which SIM card you prefer to be making calls with. So you can tap on that. You can see mine is set to eSIM 1. You can change it to eSIM 2 if you want to so that by default, any call you make is made by the SIM 2, by this particular SIM card, or you can set to all ask always. Now, when you set it to ask always, it means anytime you're trying to make a call, so let's say you want to make a call to someone and you hit the call button, it's gonna ask which SIM card you want to use to make that call, okay? And you can choose at this point. So if you choose eSIM 1, for instance, it makes the call via eSIM 1, okay? So that's, that's how you do that. You can choose to ask always. If you don't want to keep uh, pressing things, you can just choose one of these two SIM cards as the default. Now you can do the same with messages. So when you go to messages, you can select eSIM 1 or eSIM 2 as the default SIM card from which text messages are sent from your phone, okay? Now there's no option to ask, uh, to always ask, but you can go into a specific conversation. So let's say I'm in this conversation and you can see it's set to SIM2 by default. Now, if I want to chat with this particular person using the other SIM card, all I have to do is tap on the SIM card icon here and then select the other SIM card. So for instance, I can select this one. Okay. And you can see it has changed to SIM1. Okay. So I can change it again to SIM2. And whatever SIM card I choose, that's where outgoing conversations are going to be sent from, okay? So that's for messages. Same goes for mobile data. You can choose to use eSIM 1 or eSIM 2 uh, for your mobile data. Now, there's, a, there's an option here called data switching. Now, let's say you've selected one SIM card for mobile data, but then you go to a place in an, or an area that has low connectivity for that particular SIM card that you chose, but it has better network for the other SIM card. So by enabling this, you're allowing your phone to determine which SIM card has better mobile data connectivity, and it's gonna automatically switch to that one, but it's going to retain the default anytime the default is in an, is in an area that has good network uh, connectivity, okay? So you're basically allowing your phone to check, no, my default SIM card is eSIM 2, but eSIM 2 is low on connectivity. Let me switch to eSIM 1. And then if eSIM 2 goes back to, a, to an area with good internet, it go, it's gonna switch back to the default. So that's what you're doing by enabling this or disabling. And then you can come here into more SIM settings, and then you can choose dual SIM always on, which should be a default. And then you have some other options like SIM card security, eSIM settings, uh, the option to remove all SIM cards. But as far as managing your dual SIM setup, this is where that's done at, okay? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section and we will get back to you there or in the next one. Good luck.